In this exercise, we'll talk about how to get around inside of InDesign, meaning how do you zoom in, how do you zoom out, and how do you pan the page. I'm working inside of a document called tokentext.indd found inside the exercise files folder. You can see that this document is largely empty, with the exception of a little bit of token text that's going to serve my future training purposes here. Now currently I'm taking in an entire two-page spread, but that means I'm pretty far zoomed out. I can see up in the title bar that I'm seeing my document at 78% of its normal size. If I wanted to zoom in and take in the details on the page with more clarity, then I need to go up to the View menu and choose the Zoom In command. And if I wanted to go farther in, I would go up to the View menu and choose Zoom In again. By the same token, if I wanted to move out, I would choose the Zoom Out command. The problem with choosing these commands is it's fairly labor intensive going up to the view menu every time you want to change a zoom level. Better to memorize the keyboard shortcuts, which are shown, if you look up here in the view menu, they're shown as control equals, that's command equals on the Mac, and control minus, that's command minus on the Mac. That's actually true, but I prefer to think of zoom in as control plus, that's command plus on the Mac. So let me show you how that works. This is what it looks like to press control plus or command plus on the Mac. This is what it looks like to press control minus or command minus on the Mac. And notice you zoom in and out incrementally. The problem with this approach is that you're always centering your zoom on the portion of the document that was already centered inside of the document window. If you want to be able to zoom in on a specific point inside of your document, then you want to use this tool down here, the zoom tool. And notice if I click with the zoom tool on this O, for example, I'm going to center that O inside of the document window. And I can click on another point to center that point. If you want to zoom out, you press and hold the Alt key on the PC or the Option key on the Mac and click. And that will also center your zoom. The zoom tool is so great that you can access it when you're using other tools. I'll go ahead and switch back to the standard selection tool. And notice that I can get to the zoom tool by pressing the control and spacebar keys at the same time. That's command and spacebar on the Mac. And then I click to zoom in. So I still have control and spacebar down. That again is command spacebar on the Mac. If you want to zoom out, then add the alt key or the option key on the Mac. So that's control alt spacebar click to zoom out. On the Mac, that's a command option spacebar click to zoom out. If you want to zoom way in, then hold down Control and Spacebar on the PC or Command and Spacebar on the Mac, and then drag around a portion of your document. That portion that falls inside your dotted marquee there ends up filling up the entire document window. All right, I'm going to zoom out a little bit just by pressing Control or Command minus. Once you're zoomed this far into the page, you're going to need to be able to pan around. And you can do that using the scroll bars, of course, just like in other applications. But you're better off taking advantage of the hand tool which is also available toward the bottom of the toolbox. But rather than selecting the hand tool, here's a better way to work. Just press and hold the space bar, and that gets you the hand tool on the fly. And then you can just drag the document to a different location. Now this doesn't quite work if text is active. Let me show you what I mean. If I grab the type tool, and then I click inside of my type to make it active, I can't press the space bar and expect to be able to get the hand tool, because instead, I'll enter a space character. So when text is active, you have the option of pressing the Alt key or the Option key on the Mac to get the hand tool. So it's spacebar when text is not active, Alt or Option when it is active. That's hard for a lot of folks to remember, of course. So they came up with a better solution, which is to press both of those keys. So if you press Alt and spacebar together or Option and spacebar together on the Mac, you always get the hand tool under any and all circumstances. All right, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the selection tool to deactivate my text. Finally, I'll show you a couple of other commands up here. Under the View menu, you can choose Fit in Window in order to fit a single page into the window. Or you can choose Fit Spread in Window to fit the spread. And to get to those functions from the keyboard, you press Control-0 or Command-0 on the Mac to fit a single page. And that's Control-Alt-0 or Command-Option-0 on the Mac to fit an entire spread. Finally, one more pan method. If you have a scroll wheel on your mouse, you can use it. You can scroll down and up with that scroll wheel, just as you would expect to. 
if you want to scroll side to side and all you have is a scroll wheel, because there are mice that have a little button on top that allow you to go back and forth, but if you have a standard wheel, then you can press and hold the control key or the command key on a Mac and then scroll up to go to the left and then scroll down to go to the right. So that's a function of having the control or command key down. If you want to zoom in with the scroll wheel, then you press and hold the alt key or the option key on the Mac and then scroll up in order to zoom in and then scroll down to zoom out. So that's a function of having the alt key down on the PC or the option key on the Mac. Just a few ways to navigate inside of your document so that you feel comfortable and fluid when working in InDesign.